President Trump and his team have been focusing on the federal response to Hurricane Irma. They're also dealing with friendly fire from former chief strategist Steve Bannon. In his first interview since leaving the White House, he took on the president's decision to fire FBI Director James Comey. And our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, is in Washington with the details. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. He is calling that the worst mistake in modern political history. Three weeks out of the job, and Steve Bannon is already causing some major headaches for his former colleagues here. Former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon is out and on the attack. 60 Minutes asked if Bannon would describe Comey's firing as the biggest mistake in political history. That would probably be too bombastic even for me, but maybe modern political history. So, the firing of James Comey was the biggest mistake in modern political history. If you're saying that that's associated with me, then I'll, I'll leave it at that. And he also claims that firing Comey led directly to special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. I don't think there's any doubt that if James Comey had not been fired, we would not have a special counsel, yes. And now the White House is on the defense against one of its own. We've been pretty clear what our position is, uh, and certainly I think that that has been shown uh, in the days that followed that the president was right in firing Director Comey. It is the controversial former aide's first television interview since leaving the White House and Bannon also wages war against what he calls the Republican establishment. The Republican establishment is trying to nullify the 2016 election. That's a brutal fact we have to face. Well, he appears to be keeping his promise to wage war on the Washington establishment. The White House says that Bannon and President Trump, George, have only spoken once since he left the White House here. Meantime, Cecilia, also some new reports that at least some of the president's lawyers wanted Jared Kushner, his son-in-law, out of the White House during this Russia investigation. Yeah, this is coming from the Wall Street Journal, George. It says that basically Kushner is the person closest to the president who had the most dealings with the Russians during the campaign. Also, that he didn't initially disclose any of those contacts. George, as you know, Kushner has maintained all those contacts were related to his work during the campaign. He says he did nothing wrong. And he's not going anywhere, at least not yet. Meantime, the president is trying to get to the Virgin Islands. Yeah, George, this is just coming out right now. He spoke to the governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands on Monday. Apparently, they had this conversation about a possible visit. It's unclear how the president could pull this off, given all of that damage down there. The president has also, George, said that he wants to go to Florida. No trip set for that yet either. Okay, Cecilia Vega, thanks very much, Rob.